today is Wednesday. I just got Amelia ready for school and now I'm getting ready. Um, so just a quick update. My mom is okay. We ended up monitoring her all weekend. If you guys saw the last vlog, my mom had a big fall because she has ALS. Um, so she didn't end up going to the hospital. We just kind of monitored her, like I said. But um, I think it's time that I take some FMLA from work. So my plan is to only work Tuesdays and Thursdays with my provider at work and to basically be on family medical leave Wednesdays and Fridays to help take care of my mom. So until the actual FMLA kicks in, I'm taking half the morning on Wednesdays and half the Friday and half Friday mornings off from work. So today's Wednesday, so I'm getting Amelia on the bus. I'm gonna get myself dressed for work, but then go over to my mom's house to help her with everything that she needs help with for this morning and then I'm just going into work for the afternoon for like four hours. So things are gonna be a little different. Daddy told you no shoes. Yeah. Amelia is all ready for school. And I She's have gonna go shoes. Away from the bus soon. Shoes. Isaiah is being his normal naughty self. Here's me. I'm ready. You're yeah. ready? Put on my lip gloss. You want lip gloss? No, uh, lipstick. No lipstick, only lip gloss. Lip gloss, meal. Mm -hmm. Right here, this pink one. This pink one right yeah. here. There you go. Yeah. You're growing up too fast. Let's see. Looks beautiful. That's that's quite enough. That's quite enough. No more. <laughs> okay. No more. All done. Put it away. I no. was. I was just checking. Okay. Put it back. They're Thank all you. Sparkly. Let me see. Beautiful. You looked beautiful before too. Okay. Almost bus time. she doesn't live like a hermit um so a couple updates we made so the two times that my mom has fallen it's been in the middle of the night when she wants to use the bathroom so she now has a commode next to her bed and these just came in the mail today they are liners for the commode this is the brand that we got and they basically just look like giant um, trash bags that'll go inside the commode. For now, we've just been dumping it. Um, so I'm probably going to make her bed while I'm here. I'll make her breakfast. And we had some friends of ours come and put a pole here so that when she takes a shower, she has something more secure to grab onto. There's a thing here instead of these flimsy um, PVC pipes, if that's what you call them. So um, I'll show you guys today also how I hook up this shower that we got her. Um, she's got a shower chair in there. And before she was hooking everything up on her own and there's two cords that connect here. One that goes... Um, to this for the water to come out and then one that goes in here for the water to drain but it was very unsafe having two large cords here and having her with her walker try to get over the cords and then this lip here into the shower so now we get her in the shower and then we hook everything up for her and I'll show you guys how that all works soon 
So pretty much um, my life has just been a little bit crazy lately and for my own mental health, um, I feel like it's a good idea that I go on FMLA right now with everything going on with my mom, not only to help her with everything, I want to be the one helping her, I don't want to go through uh, a home care agency, you know, at the end of the day, I want to be the one that, that's there for my mom as long as I can be. So just working two days a week because I still love my job and I want to be there at my job. Um, but just trying to juggle all the responsibilities that you have as a mom, as an employee, and as a daughter is mentally and physically exhausting sometimes, at least lately. So I think that going on FMLA and taking some time off from work is going to be the best choice for everybody. Okay, I just emptied the commode, so I'm going to put the lid, well actually, I'll put the lid down. So I just rinsed it out. I'm going to put this back here. It, okay, you want me to dry it? Okay. You can get some paper towels. I'll dry the inside. I squished some soap inside of here. So it's kind of like a short uh, trash bag. There is a drawstring here and then there's this absorbent pad that comes inside of each one that turns liquid into gel so that it's more of like a solid substance when you go to take it out. So we're gonna put this here and I'm going to line it over. And you might find that these are the ones that they use a lot in the hospital, I guess, as well. So there's our little liner, and I'll just take the bag out uh, each morning for her, or her other aide that comes in can help her with that. So there's the liner. We can put the lid on top. Like that. Actually, yeah, it goes like that. And then there's her toilet seat for at nighttime. All right, so my mom's gonna get ready for the shower. So she comes in here usually and she just got this new robe. This is a bath robe. Um, it's short, um, I guess it's an Ugg brand. And it looks really nice. So basically she's gonna change into her robe and then she comes out here and she sits in her shower chair and then we're gonna hook her all up. This down, this white part. Yep, it just and then clips, clips. So I'm gonna film you doing it. Yep, and then it should click. Yeah, there. So it's on. So now we'll turn the water on. Go ahead. And then just a little bit of cold. So here's the cord. I'm not getting you in the shot, Mom. And then it comes out here, and she can adjust this however. And then the second cord is down here. Yep. So we just plop this in the drain oh, uh, yeah. all the way down. Yeah. And then yeah. Push the red button. Yeah. Hook that. And then this is the pump, so you just push the, the red button there. And the water will drain out. So my mom's out of the shower, so now we're just squeegeeing the water towards the drain pipe that lines um, from here all the way against here so that it can drain the rest of the way. You're never going to get all this water out but we just squeegee as best we can and then once a week. Um, have you cleaned it yet Mary? Do you yeah clean it? I just took some like scrub and bubbles okay. and let it drip for a while and just kind of squeegee it out. Um, yeah just kind of scrubbed it off and okay. rinsed it. As best I could. Okay, so just like a bathroom, just use some bathroom yeah, cleaner. And I didn't want to use anything with bleach because I was afraid it would eat oh, yeah. a hole in it. That's true. We're going to get some juice. <laughs> she gets Amazon packages every day. Every day. Well, I've been getting a lot because I got to order stuff for the shower. This is the thicket we got off Amazon. Yeah. Do eight ounces of juice and then a. Uh, spoon so this is one what is this one teaspoon and then just a little bit more and that's the thickness that she likes it 
And then I just close this, put this on, shake it up, and give it to her with a reusable metal straw. I'm cooking my mom breakfast now. We're just doing peppers, mushrooms, and some cherry tomatoes. I'm going to add some spinach, and then um, she does the all these liquid um, eggs. Then we pretty much make an omelet that I cut up really small for her, and that's soft enough for her to chew and swallow. So this is pretty much what she has every morning for breakfast. Okay, so we're going to add the egg. And this is actually a pretty good amount of food for her. And that's why it takes her so long to eat. Um, she said she has less of an appetite now as well. Which I guess was coming. None of the way. Okay, we're gonna switch my mom's wash. I gotta hang up her old robe for her. Vacuum quick and then we're gonna be off to work so i just have a couple things left to do she ate breakfast she's dressed she showered she's good i'll probably check on her after work as well so so far good morning okay so i only have four hours left of work i believe for today so when i get to work um I have my FMLA paperwork. I can't, I don't think that I can fill it out, but I'm gonna give it to somebody else so they can hopefully fill it out and I'll be there to answer any questions that they have. I fill out FMLA paperwork for uh, our patients every week. So um, now it's my turn. Um, there's always gonna be a time in your life where you're probably gonna need to take FMLA. So that's what it's there for. And I'm thankful that I'm at a job that is very understanding of what I'm going through and for the friends and family, all the support, and of course all of my subscribers and followers that have reached out to me. Um, you know, my life was crazy even before my mom got sick, but um, adding this into the mix just even mentally has been a lot and it's been really um, weighing on me and that's kind of difficult for me to say because I like to um, put on a good front a lot of times and, and act like I'm strong and I'm doing the best that I can but I feel like I'm not giving a hundred percent to anything or anyone in my life right now because I have so much going on that there's a lot of things that I'm forgetting to do and falling through and you know even doctor's appointments for myself that I should be going to aren't getting done because I'm just the last person on my list as I'm sure all moms are um, in their lives so yeah things have just been a little bit rocky lately and I think the FMLA is a good idea like I said before to take okay we just got to work so we're gonna get inside Someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face If you wanna talk I'm right here not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up When the moment's right Across your face It is written across your face If you wanna go out We can go out You can hide away Just for one night but if you want to cry, just let it out I'm by your side now Just hold on a bit more Cause I know you only see the rain Not the rainbow Deep down I know you're strong Give them hell, baby, prove them wrong Just hold on a bit more Okay, work is done This day has been going by so slow probably because it's just different from my normal routine. Right now, um, I'm pretty sure the kids are at my mom's house. Amir had to go to work and so he does drop them off and they're usually over there for only like 15 minutes or so 
with her alone until I get home and um, you know Amelia is old enough to where she helps out and everything like that and the kids are usually pretty good for her but I'm gonna go relieve her of those duties and then make dinner and finish out the night with the kids and see if they need baths and all that so we're gonna go do all that okay so I'm home the kids um, The kids are at my mom's house. I just picked up the house a little bit. It actually isn't too bad, which I'm thankful for. A few toys here and there, but that's normal for my house. And so I have like three loads of laundry to fold tonight. Isaiah needs a laundry basket back while all of his clean clothes are in there that are probably wrinkly by now. And then I've got two in the corner. So that's my goal for tonight. If I get there, I don't know, but that's where my head's at. Hopefully that gets done. Dishes aren't too bad, but we're gonna head over to my mom's right now. I have to have her sign this paperwork and um, see how the kids are and then get them home so that she can relax herself. Um, she said that she spilled juice on her rug after I left, so. We're going to go assess that situation and probably clean a little bit for her and make sure that she's good for dinner herself before we leave. Hi. Hi. Hello? Who's here? Where are the kids? Hmm. That's paperwork you have to sign. Oh, I see toys on the floor, but where? Maybe I'll just follow the trail of the toys. Let's see. What? <laughs> Go! Go! <laughs> My mom said that she spilled some juice right here, so we're gonna. There's nothing under there. There's nothing. Just a line right here. Maybe I'll clean up. You coming to the picnic, Mima? <laughs> We're gonna go home and have a picnic, I told the kids. I'll set out like a blanket. We'll FaceTime Mima, maybe. Yeah. Mom, what dinner do you want? Oh. Creamy chicken casserole? Yeah. Okay. These are the freshly meals that my mom gets delivered to her yeah. once a week, every Monday. Here's what the food looks like. It looks so good actually and it smells amazing. And I am not gonna be eating anything like this in my house. <laughs> Hurting the children across the street. Okay, go ahead. Why don't you just go go? Here he comes. Alright. In the door. No. Come on, McMullins. Cody. Zombies too. zombies too. Sure, we can put zombies too on. Clean up the room, living room for our picnic. So my plan for the kids, so that it's like more fun for them right now, is um, I'm gonna put Cody in my bedroom, and I'm gonna lay out a blanket in the living room floor, and we're gonna do like a picnic dinner. Um, maybe I'm just gonna make grilled cheese or sandwiches or something like super super easy, my usual <laughs> for dinner, and that way. They can have fun there. Amelia's been really into the Disney Channel zombie movies, so she wants to watch Zombies 2 again. So we're gonna watch that, and Isaiah is obviously into anything that his big sister is into, so that's the deal right now. Dinner. Okay, both kids are successfully eating their picnic dinner. Is it good, guys? Yeah. I'll put Cody in um, my room so that he doesn't eat all the food, and we're gonna put on zombies too. Come on, let's get in bed. I got you, Cody. Okay, ready? Got you, Cody. Good. Okay. The fire engine book. I got you. 
You got two? Yeah. Ding, ding, ding goes the alarm. The firemen slide down the pole. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can hear Isaiah crying in there, but um, he's not too happy. I just left his room. <sighs> but it is Amelia's turn. She did her homework. I just forgot to do my name on this paper. Oh, okay. Let's see. Amelia, yep. So we'll go through your words. And let's see, this was her other paper. So proud of my smart little girl. Wow. Very good, Mia. Okay, this is Amelia's book she got from the library this week. It's called No Book of Doom. The Notebook of Doom Doom Doom. <laughs> Mommy, can yeah. we start reading now? Yeah, okay. I'll get the Bible. Yep. Well, it's 10 o'clock. It took me so long to get the kids down. Oh, my eyes hurt. I have to take my makeup off as soon as possible. So, um, I folded one basket of laundry, one basket of laundry while I watched Zombies 2 with the kids. So I feel a little bit better about housework um, and I put the dishes in the dishwasher as well. So pretty accomplished, but I do have this laundry next to me here. And if I can muster up enough energy to at least fold some of them, that's good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it though. <sighs> I'm pretty wiped out. So. Um, I know this wasn't the most exciting vlog, but um, I want to be real with you guys and let you know what life has thrown at me recently. And, um, you know, my nursing vlogs, I'm still, still going to be doing those, but I'm only going to be able to do them on either a Tuesday or a Thursday. And I'll keep you guys updated with my mom through vlogs with her as well. So... Thank you everyone for your love and support as always. I love you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will catch you in my next one. Love you. Good night. Bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it